So, uh, they end up on the beach where they are completely free, uh, where there's only sun, sea and sand, and maybe sex, sort of women to sort of whistle at or something. Uh, and this is considered to be the most uh, free and thus uh, leisureful pastime activity. So the beach holiday is tremendously popular but amongst people from Britain, I believe. A second reason is, I think, to do with um, a reversal on uh, what is considered to be other in uh, Japan and uh, the West. Um, and as uh, in uh, McCannell's famous book, I think, no, it's not McCannell. Who is it? Uri, John Uri's famous book, The Tourist Gaze. He points out that um, tourism for Westerners is very much about going to gaze upon things. And sometimes these things aren't particularly, you know, like it could be a rock or a giant ice cream cone in the middle of the desert, or it's just a sight. And, and there are ways of making things into sights by the way that they're framed, the way that they have signposts to them, and the way that other people are watching them, and that there might be a platform for seeing them. But a sight is the essential part of what a tourism experience is. And, and the gaze is the, the centre of uh, the touristic experience. Now, I think this is something that is very uh, Western. Uh, that Westerners want to gaze upon things. Whereas Japanese people, uh, when they go on a tourist experience, do not consider sight and vision uh, and the view to be the, the, the other alterity. Instead, what they want when they go abroad is they want to go to have something with a, with sayings, with, with speech. In other words, that words are the other. And uh, so they go to places where uh, iware no aru tokoro, iware no aru tokoro means somewhere which is, ha, has a history which is spoken about. Somewhere which is spoken about. And sometimes the actual site would be completely, like, uh, there's a, a completely non, non-eventful. Uh, there's a, a famous clock in uh, Sapporo, uh, but because it is famous and there's a story related to it, uh, people go and see it, uh, or they go there and then they hear the story. And um, another thing is that the the gaze and uh, this, this speech uh, in tourism um, has a um, self-focused and other-focused aspect. Generally speaking, Westerners go to look and then they write about themselves in postcards, yeah? so that their speech is self-focused, but their gaze is other-focused. And their cameras, likewise, uh, Westerners point their cameras at the other place, but then they talk about themselves. Uh, whereas Japanese people, uh, they go with their guidebooks, lots of speech collection. You know, in other words, they've got a guidebook and they read, ah, this is where this so-and-so happened. But then they focus their gaze upon themselves and they point their cameras at themselves.